Don't call me to do your will. I <laughs> Bam. I love it. I think I've decided that the, the Ram 5.7 with the straight pipe sounds the best out of all three trucks. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys, first of all. Today we're working on the Tahoe. I've got some, uh, so just to give you guys a little backstory, I've done wheel lights on the channel before. It was a long time ago, and we've had the wheel lights for her Tahoe for like probably at least a year now. She'd probably argue more than a year, but at least a year. And you guys know I used to have wheel lights on my truck, but I cut them off the front when I worked at Weaver. And I finally, I've had the replacements for those probably for about six months now. And I just, I haven't gotten around to doing it. So, there's a show we want to go to this weekend. There's also the Toys for Tots show in Augusta next weekend. So my goal is at least by next weekend to have both the vehicles with working, functioning wheel lights by next weekend. That's my goal. So I've done the wheel lights on the channel before. I'm not going to bore you guys with an install. But we're over here at the tent shop today. Zach, say hello. Yo, yo. Zach's back there somewhere. And we got Shamar behind the camera. What's I got up? a couple other guys pulling up here in a minute. And we're just gonna we're just gonna hang out, work on the wheel lights, and see if we can get it at least make some headway today. That's the goal. You got a jack in here? We're almost there. You just gotta uh, self-tap some screws uh, and uh, what for one done. <laughs> Two hours later. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't finish any of them today. And we were here for what, two hours? A good two hours. So I'm gonna take this time to let you guys know that uh, don't call me to do your wheel lights. <laughs> Christina's gonna be really upset today because we did not finish any of the wheel lights today. <laughs> we drilled a bunch of holes in the brackets and that's pretty much about it. And, uh, yeah, yeah, happy Thanksgiving, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> It seems like the cool thing to do now is to come by my job and come hang out with the boys. I got Shamar and Jane. I don't know what the hell they're talking. Hey, what are y'all talking about over there? Motor, piece of shit. They're talking about my motor over there. That's not nice. My boy came by to say hi. Come show some love. Come hang out with the boys for a minute. I do want to give a huge shout out to some of the sponsors back here. We got Team Skynet. We got Noble Life Creations. I'm going to one of their shows this month. We got uh, Never Satisfied Bills and that, and then we got a couple other. We got a couple other awesome. Uh, Oh my God, you are just so damn cute. <laughs> I really like this truck. I'm, this is definitely not a Ford channel, but y'all gotta show love to the Fords on the channel, right? Yeah, fix or repair daily, brother. Fix or repair, definitely. <laughs> yeah, honestly, this this truck's pretty cool. I like the fuels, like the Nittos. One of the coolest things about this truck is these aren't the stock emblems either. They're uh, redesigned Predator decals, so normally they would cut off like here, I'm out of alcohol, but, but they redesigned it all the way to the back of the cab. Definitely an awesome feature. Now that, my guy here has a true, a true dual straight pipe. He's got the true dual axle dunks. Mine is the fake one. Mine's got one, which is kind of lame. I definitely need to go to the dual axle dumps at some point, but I gotta give it to the Ford. The 5.0 with the axle dump, mess. Yeah, I don't care who you are, color matched grills are definitely the move, and the bumper too. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I, yeah, I need to, that, that, yeah, I'm, the, the more that I look at it, the more I want to color match it. Why does that Malibu have an SS badge on it? Does no one notice that? The Malibu has an SS badge you on put it. put those on there. Whose is this? This is Diego. Oh, oh, check the side door. That's check the side door. The Hellcat badge on a V6. Ooh, oh. we got the whole squad up here today. We got the, we got the Cummins. Got the turbo diesel up here. Y'all remember that? I did a video on that a couple weeks ago. My co-worker's Jaguar. We got the Hummer over here showing up being loud as hell now with the super tens i really need to get some super tens i love the way that sounds and then you got the old the old shit box down there with the with the hoodie on top good old reliable hey don't let me forget the buckets on my truck
Oh, I got some competition. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit too loud. Hey, if we were in my neighborhood, I'd be getting fined like a motherfucker right now. I need to run out the rear though. That sounds really good actually. Oh, shit. Should I put Super 10s on my truck? That's not good. We haven't gotten in trouble for Shamar's truck here at work yet. I wanna hear that shit. But we might get, what, Shamar's? No, you don't. We're going around. I got something cool to show off. He's got something cool to show off. What'd you bring today? What'd you bring? I got a Gen Y here. What'd you bring today? We got new parts going on the truck today. Yeah. I don't know why I expected a bigger box. 24 on this Shit. Y'all know I'm a, I'm a scrawny white dude. <laughs> oh, it's still in the plastic, too. <laughs> look, at, look at that. Look at that beautiful. That beautiful right there. Gen Y hitch. Oh, shit. That's heavy. Wow. That's going to look really good, though. I can't even get it out of the damn box. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Well, take my word for it. He's got a Gen Y hitch in the box somewhere. <laughs> Even though I can't get it out. That's a drop hitch, right? Yeah. What, 10 inch? Yeah, I want to put the bitch on. Are you going to put it on now? Try right. it. Oh. Put it on now. Oh, okay. it. Shit. Let me get some mud. Uh... <laughs> All right, I'm tired. Cut that out. <laughs> oh, Come back to you just a little bit. Bam. He's like always been I love it. I need to get one of these at some point. Maybe a red one like or silver. The, uh... Not that I, not that I fucking tow anything. Oh yeah, you're right. The fucking mints definitely wear. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. No, but no. If I got one of these, you can put the fucking, I could put oh, the fucking yeah. mints on it. Genius. <laughs> Genius. How do you, uh, how do you like the tires so far? The gladiators? I like them. I need to get in the line, but you can see they're wearing a little bit on the outside. Of you are, you honestly, yeah. You kind of need to, you need to rotate them already. Damn. How long, how long have you had it on there? Like five or six weeks. You you should definitely axle dump. Like dual axle dump. hundred percent. I called the guy today at GNS and was like, hey, can you uh bend some tailpipe for me and weld it on there? He was like, Yeah, we can pretty much do whatever you want, depending on what you have. And I was like, Well, it's just a normal Hummer. And I was like, either out the rear or axle dump. He's like, Yeah, we can make that work. I would hundred percent axle dump. They're they're gonna say that in the comments, hundred percent axle dump, so that's what I'm gonna tell you too. Just cruising. Shout out to my boy Mel. So I think I've decided that the the Ram 57 with the straight pipe, which is the cats in the front and straight pipe behind that, sounds the best out of all three trucks. We've got the Ram 1500. What year is this? So you got the 2019 Ram 1500 with the 57 Hemi. Versus the 5.0 that you saw earlier in the video, the Predator Ford F-150, versus mine with the 5.3 straight pipe axle dump, and we got Thomas's 6.0 axle dump. I mean, we've got a lot of different, a lot of different exhaust setups, a lot of different engine setups in this video. But I genuinely think that the 5.7 sounds the best. Either the 5.7 or the 6.0. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. But let's take a look at my man's truck today. We got a 2019. Ram 1500 with the 5.7 Hemi. Absolutely beautiful. All color matched, all black up front with a little bit of chrome. Got the LED headlights. I love the way this truck looks. This truck is super clean. The all black on this looks, to be honest, the all black on this looks a lot better than a lot of the all black trucks. The TIS wheels with the ridge graps, 35 1250s on some 22s. Looks absolutely amazing. Super great, just clean, simple look out of this truck and I'm sure you guys agree with me. I, I like that he's got the tow mirrors on here because you know I'm a 1500 and I got the tow mirrors out. He's got the tow mirrors out. I mean, if you got tow mirrors, just it's, it's okay. If you're a 1500, it's okay. Again, I want to show some show, show major love to my boy Mel. This is actually the first time I've ever seen somebody with the sticker in person. I'm kind of jealous. And that's the only sticker that you got back here. So it looks super clean, super clean. Tinted windows. Five on the back, 15 in the front. We need to put some five on your windshield too. I'm thinking of going four to five, I can't You're crazy. Do 35, 35 ain't that bad. Okay, 35 you. ain't that bad. I got five on my windshield and it's... Yeah, I gotta take it out. It's, uh, it's bad, but it's not bad. It, it depends, it depends. I've gotten used to it. 
But most most people think it's kind of crazy. This is Fred, baby. That's what I'm talking about.